Beach boy. Oh my God. And I sent a message to the seller to see if he'd be willing to sell me the stuff before the yard sale. And sure enough, he was willing to do that. So I ran right over there and I picked it all up. Welcome back, it is great to see everybody. In today's episode, we're gonna head on over to a local estate sale in our neighborhood to see what kind of cool stuff we can find. I'm also gonna show you guys how to spoil a yard sale. So with that, let's get right into it. That should be coming in. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hey, how's it going? Good, the whole house, up and down. Oh, nice. Thank you. This is pretty cool. games over here. There's stuff upstairs too. Bob Dylan, the Beatles, Chicago's Greatest Hits. Oh, I should take that. Yep. Wow, Columbia House, eight tracks. Some of these are sealed. Freaking Black Sabbath. You gotta be kidding me. How crazy is that? It's freaking nuts. Why would a Black Sabbath be in here? This is great. I found a Black Sabbath record mixed in with this. Oh, God. These things. I was gonna ask, are you willing to sell the um, case on this? Um, let me go check with you. I think she's gonna say no, but I... I found a Black Sabbath record. That's awesome. That's crazy. They have like a raggedy Andy sharpener down there and a raggedy Andy knickerbocker, but... 
Oh, nice. She said she would do 10 for the box. 10 for the box? Yeah. All right. So 10 and albums are five each? Yes. So 10, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now my math is getting messed. <laughs> 15, 16, 19. All right. How about, okay, that sounds good. Okay, I'll clear now. Thank you. I need a box for all my 8-track tapes. Oh, okay, it works perfect then. Um, if you want to start a little pile downstairs, so you don't... Know, okay, I think, I'm, I think I'm done. I'm gonna love real quick. Yeah, go for it. All right, a quick shout out to every single person that has subscribed to this channel so far. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. We're on a roll now. We're almost going to be at 1,000 subscribers, and I'm really super excited about that. So if you're a huge fan of vintage toys from the 60s, 70s, and 80s, you like vinyl records and cool stuff like that, please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below, let us know how we're doing. But with that, let's get right back into it. <laughs> All right, I guess I'm ready. Yeah. So that was 10, 15, this was five, so that's 20 bucks. And then it was $2, 26 bucks. Um, we could throw them, yeah, that would be great if we could put them in that case then. Do you have, no, we live in a neighborhood actually, yeah. So there's 40 yeah. if you have any change. Good morning, how are you? Good. Uh, so just so you know, it's the whole house, upstairs, downstairs, and garage. Okay, 26, 30, 35, 40. Thank you so much, Thank guys. You. Nice, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, no problem. And we're Appreciate here until Sunday if you do okay. get bored. All right, awesome. What does that save the planet by vintage? Oh, yes. It? Uh, just, oh, nice. Yeah, it's just our t-shirts for work, but um, oh, gotcha. she works at the people's store in Lambertville. One of the dealers sells it. Oh, okay. I know where yeah. that is. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Okay. I'm going to just set this down a second. Thank you so much. So I was definitely not expecting to find the 1970 debut album by Black Sabbath at this estate sale. It just didn't jive with all the rest of the stuff. You got the Bee Gees album, you got the Michael Jackson, all the other 8-track tapes that they had there. It just didn't fit in. It was the only album in that genre. And man, this thing is just a classic. So one of the first things I did when I got home, I jet it right over to my record so I can compare what I had versus this one and see what was in better shape. And here's what we found. So... With my Black Sabbath record here, this was um, put out by NEMS in 1982. So this is a very nice upgrade. Now I have the original US press version by Warner Brothers. Um, and it's just classic, man. So I'll end up selling that one. I'll end up keeping that one, put it in my own collection. And we also picked up a couple other cool items Why we found this one. That was really cool. So one of the things I do collect um, as well is eight track tapes. So I got a couple today. I got the Santana, I got the Peter Frampton, I got the Chicago, and I got an Elton John tape. So I got eight of these eight track tapes, and these are in really nice condition. And I'm really, really picky about this stuff. The reason I didn't get the Paul McCartney, because it had a couple of little bubbles on there and stuff like that. I'm not really into the bubble eight track tapes, you know, you know what I mean? But anyway, I asked the sellers if they would sell me this case because this is one of the things I've been looking for for a long time. I do see a lot of these out there like every once in a while, but these things are really beat, you know? They look like they got ran over by a car. They've been stored in somebody's garage or something like that, and they just deteriorate over time. So this one is in really, really terrific condition. I mean, you can just look at it, and this thing is just beautiful. So I got this for 10 bucks, and that's a steal for this, actually. And that's why I brought out these, just to show you, I have a bunch of other of these 8-track tapes. But because I didn't have one of these nice protective cases, I went and ordered these nice little plastic covers. Because whenever I buy something, that's just, I told you, I'm a little ridiculous but with uh, stuff because they get handled. You saw the way I handled the 8-track tape, so you know other people handle them the same way. I don't really mean to do that intentionally. But when I come home, anyway, long story long, I put them in protective plastic and I just, that's just what I do. So there you go.
So here are a couple other items that we picked up at the estate sale today. We got this brand new coach bag and this thing is really nice. It was probably a gift for somebody or something like that because it definitely looks unused. I would check it for money but it's brand new, there's probably no money in there. But with that we got the original bag that came with it and we picked that up for $15 so that's a pretty good buy. These probably go for about maybe 50, 60 bucks, somewhere around that area. I'm not really a purse expert obviously. However, we got this guy right here. This is like a 1960s or maybe even 70s little Raggedy Ann like Christmas looking thing. You just throw it up around Christmas time and she looks pretty cool. There's that. So when I was down in the basement, I actually found this guy. This is really nice actually because this will appeal to like military collectors um, or locals too, you know what I mean? Because we're in Jersey anyway. So this is the battleship USS New Jersey and this thing's really awesome. It's from 1969 still sealed in the original package for five bucks. You really can't go wrong. So there you go. Morning. Morning. How you doing? Good. I actually looked in the quarter thing. It was from 1972, no, oh, no silver, okay. but it was still cool. I got a few, uh, <laughs> few coins out of it. Did you end up selling those uh, records? A uh, bunch of them. Oh, uh, did you? Yeah. All right. I got some more. Sure. Cool, thanks, man. Somebody's going on there for 50, and I'll consider that the cheapest one is 18, 6, 17. Yeah. 
this is 1980. I usually go into the completed listings to see what they're selling for. Right. As opposed to like what they're asking. asking. But what about this one? Um, rumors. It doesn't look like it has the end strip. Let me look at the record. See, I would like this one just for the cover because I have one. It looks like it has like a blood stain on it. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> um, yeah, this is better condition than the one I got. I, think. I don't have it set up for uh, sold, but I agree with you. It's an easier, better way to do it. Uh, what about something like this? This doesn't have the sleeve. Yeah, and it's, I, I can't even use that record, but. Okay, let's just see what they go, and just gives me an idea. And so, only because, like I said, I really have no idea on this. Yeah. No records or a thing. I mean, you usually find these for like a couple bucks, oh. unless it's something real special. if you want it. I think I might take that for five bucks just because uh, the cover. Yeah. I usually swap stuff out if it's in like better condition. Sure. Um, let me grab some money. All right, cool. Thanks, man. Right, well, I appreciate it. Great day. You too. All right, take care. So I came across this ad that I'm going to share with you after I'm finished showing you the haul for a yard sale that was going to take place on May 18th. However, given the items and what they are, what I'm about to show you and the prices was just absolutely unbelievable. I knew there, even if you got there an hour early, there's going to be 20 to 30 people deep trying to fight you over this stuff. And I'm just not in the mood for that. So with that, I threw a dart out there and I sent a message to the seller to see if he'd be willing to sell me this stuff before the yard sale. And sure enough, he was willing to do that. So I ran right over there and I picked it all up. It's pretty crazy because I've done that in the past where I've seen like a whole collection or something really cool I was interested in that they were going to sell on the weekend or something like that. And nine out of 10 times or maybe 10 out of 10 times they said no. So there you go. And it's always like no early birds, no this, no that. So it is what it is, you know, survival of the fittest and whoever's there first wins. So anyway, I won this one. So let me get right into it. All right, first item up, we have this really cool Batman Bat Lab. Now, this thing is in such terrific condition. I want to feel, I feel like this thing was reissued. If you know anything about this Batman Bat Lab and if they reissued this, definitely leave a comment down below and let me know what year. Because I did a search on it, maybe like five minutes or something like that, and I couldn't really find anything out. It doesn't really have much much to go on on the bottom, any dates or anything like that. I definitely had something like this when I was a little kid. I probably had the original one, but let me know if this is a reissue or not. But anyway, it's still in killer condition, and I just love this thing. It's, it's awesome. You really can't go wrong. So next item up, this is kind of goofy. Um, I don't know if it goes with those figures or not, but he threw it in anyway. This is the Batman Batmobile. And I don't know, it's just kind of corny to me. It's really cheap and made. I feel like I could find this at like a, uh, I don't know, like a little souvenir shop or something like that. So there's that one. So next item up, that's pretty cool. This is the reissue uh, Batman Batcave. And this is pretty awesome. I think this came out around 2015. But anyway, it's terrific, unplayed condition. And you really can't go wrong. Wait till you see what I paid for all this stuff. It's unbelievable. So it's got all the parts in there as well. So with that, this is the item that I was actually most interested in. And it was this box of Mego uh, figures. And these are the 50th anniversary ones. I wish they were the originals, but they're not. But anyway, I got these for such super cheap deal. They're just awesome. Every once in a blue moon, I see them at the flea market. But these sell really quick because they're very popular. Anyway, we got the Joker. This thing's awesome because I love Batman. And I love watching that when I was a kid. That was pretty nice. You got the Penguin. He's pretty cool. I got a, the original Penguin back there. I got a bunch of Mego figures. I love collecting Mego figures. You got the Riddler. He's sweet. You got the Green Arrow. That guy's pretty cool looking. Um, what else we got here? We got the original Batman. This thing's awesome. Now, it's kind of strange because Batman's, he's like a masculine, like muscular looking dude in a pink box. Give him a different color box. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, you got Superman down here. That's pretty cool. Can't go wrong with Superman. Um, if you have Batman, you got to have Robin, right? So there's his buddy. 
You got Aquaman. I really like this one. I like purple and stuff like that. So this one, this box on this is just sweet and he just looks cool. So I like him. He's decent. Uh, you got the Green Lantern on here. So he's pretty cool. And this is nice too, man. I like the flash. So this is decent. So I like all these, man. And so I'll tell you what I paid for all these. This is pretty crazy. I'm going to show you the ad. Everything that you see here for $140. And here's how it breaks down. It was $10 per figure, right? So we got the figures. It was $15 for the Batman Bat Lab. It was $15 for the Batmobile and $10 for the Batcave. So man, you really can't go wrong at those prices because they're definitely worth more than that. I don't know if I'm going to keep these or sell them, but for right now, I'm just going to keep them. Um, I'm definitely going to keep these figures. Maybe I'll just sell these other guys out. But I, I love collecting character dolls and stuff like that. And they are the 50th anniversary. You know, maybe down the line, they'll be worth, uh, you know, worth something. They'll be worth something to somebody, but they're even cool. You can display these, you know what I mean? They look awesome. So anyway, there you go. All right, it is time for me to rock and roll. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let us know how we're doing. But with that, everybody have a fantastic week. Stay safe out there. See ya.